Agivava o Meisha. The Bible says, Jesus commanded the demons out. Let us read 42. And as he was still coming, the demon threw him down and convulsed him. Then Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the child, and gave him back to his father. Yesu akamkemea pepo mchafu akamponya mtoto akamrudishia babaye Now you understand wakati tunatoa mapepo hata Yesu akitoa mapepo kijana alianguka Na hakuanguka tu akaanza kukufa Can conversion Conversion kwa Kiswahili ni nini Akamtia kifafa ndio hiyo Kwa hivyo si sarakasi it is not gymnastics when we lay hands on the demon possessed and they fall down and they start throwing legs throwing hands throwing hands it is not gymnastics even Jesus did it now you understand the disciples could not do that. Why? Their level of power was lower than the demon. But Jesus, a man who was given to prayer and fasting, it is not bad to escalate. To escalate. When you kupeleka kurifa to above eh oh rivaro eh. akishindwa mamalusi unapeleka wapi kinyata eh. si ndio <laughs> nipongee mkono wa bwana amen akishindwa mamalusi wanasemanga wapi kinyata kwa hivyo si vibaya ukiletea alex the evangelist aombee mtoto wako na akose kupona si vibaya kurifa to my office eh. Ukiletea pastor Esther aombe na uone mabadiliko. Refer to my office. Leta kwa ofisi yangu. It is not bad. Si mbaya. Si hata kwamba umesema pastor Esther awezi. Si hata kwamba umesema Alex evangelist awezi. Hata wakati wa Yesu they did a revival. Bali muletea mitume Peter wakangangana na mapepo wakashindwa. Do you understand now? Unaelewa sasa? And what happened? They referred the boy to Jesus. And the demon was rebuked. And they left. Because Jesus. Had an higher level of anointing. Obtained through the power. Of prayer and fasting. If you want to change your level of power. Your level of anointing. You are a level of glory. You need to engage in prayer and fasting. It is a fundamental benefit of prayer and fasting. And I release today, let that grace be upon you. As you pray and fast this season, may your level change. The demon that terrorized you in 2023, may you receive power to overcome. May you receive power to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know I'm going to say I receive power. I cannot hear you. Say I receive power. I receive power. As I pray and fast. As I pray and fast. In Jesus' name. Number two. Benefit of prayer and fasting. Destruction of demonic yokes. Cancellation of curses. And demonic ordinances. In that whole sentence, I'm only saying destruction of the work of, it, of the devil. Destruction of demonic yokes. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6. 
58 verse 6. 58 verse 6. I'm seeing Nanan. Nanan. 58 verse 6. I'm seeing Is this not the fast that I have chosen to lose the bonds of the wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Je, saumu nilio ichagua sio ya namna hii kufungua vifungo vya uovu kuzilegeza kamba za nira kuwaacha uru walionewa na kwamba mvuje kila nira pray and fast kufunga na kuomba it is a way that leads to breaking of yokes ni njia ambayo inakuongoza kuvunja nira and demonic curses na malaana zote za in the book of Isaiah we are taught it is the fasting that the Lord chooses Biblia inasema kwamba katika Isaiah kwamba hiyo ndio saumu bwana na you read pray and the fasting katika kufunga na kuomba you generate oil unapata mafuta to break yokes of the enemy in your life. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Is uh, Isaiah 10 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder. And there is yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Isaiah, katika kitabu cha Isaiah, kumi, ishina saba. Tena itakuwa katika siku hiyo, mzigo wake utaondoka begane mwako, na nira yake shingone mwako, na ayo nira itaribiwa kwa sababu ya kutiwa mafuta. So you generate oil when you pray and fast to break curses to break yokes of the enemy and the burdens are lifted. Maybe you see in your family there is a pattern of evil that repeats after some time. That is a yoke of the enemy. You have seen a pattern. That is not godly. For example, wasichana wakifika from to kwenu wanapata mimba. Umeona cousin, umeona your sister, umeona several, na wewe pia unaona unaelekea kupata mimba. It's a pattern of evil. watu kwenu waolewi kwa harusi. Watu wanapatanga kupata breaking news. Fulani aliolewa na akona watoto wawili. Na ni pattern inajirudia. When you pray and fast. Unapofunga na kuomba. You break those accords. Unabunja hiyo aina Psalm 64 verses 1. Katika kitabu cha Zaburi 64. 64, 1 from verse 1. Hear my voice, O God. In my meditation, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Verses 2. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked. From the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Who sharpen their tongues like a sword. And bend their bows. To shoot their arrows bitter words. Their arrows bitter words. To pick up. Katika kitabu cha zaburi. Ishirina ene msaru wa kwanza. Mungu usikia sauti yangu. Katika malalamiko yangu. Unilinde. Uwai wangu na hofu ya adui. Utanificha mbali na shauri la siri la watenda mabaya bali na ghasia ya watu wafanyao maovu verse 3 walio walio unoa ulimu wao kama upanga listen everybody look here kila mtu angalia hapa the tank ulimi is a weapon ni silaha nipokea mkono wa the tank is a weapon 
wananoa waovu wananoa ulimi wao kama upanga ehe uh-huh. what do they do wameyelekeza mishale yao na kuelekeza mishale yao maneno ya uchungu maneno ya uchungu so what does the do the evil people use kwa hivyo watu waovu hufanya nini they use their sword wanatumia upanga wao which is the attack ambao ni ulimi wao to cash kulani they use their bitter words wanatumia maneno yao machungu to destroy kuharibu judas our elder here has only told us mama alimwambia wewe utapatana na wao akasema ao sitapatana na wao bwana yesu apewe sifa amen ili shot ameambiwa your time of danger is coming anaambiwa kwamba wakati wako hatari utakuja lakini na yeye akakuwa mwerefu akasema hautakuja because you you destroy a weapon by a weapon maana unaharibu silaha kwa silaha the witches use words hawaganga na wachawi utumia maneno they do enchantment wanatangaza kwa maneno they that cast use words wale ambao wanalaani wanatumia maneno they use words to destroy wanatumia maneno kuharibu But now when we fast, lakini tukifunga, we are able to destroy their weapons. Tunaweza haribu silaha zao. We are able to destroy their curses. Tunaweza haribu lana zao. That any word that was spoken, kwa maneno lolote lilonenwa, and brought a yoke to your land. Na nikaleta nile katika maisha yako. What is a curse? Basi laana ni nini? It is a spiritual empowerment to fail. Ni uh, ni ni kutiliwa nguvu kwa kiroho usinawiri empowerment to fail kutiliwa nguvu uanguke so by the words of people kwa hivyo kwa maneno ya watu niliona advert nyingine inasema huko tiktok mwalimu wa hesabu alisema sitafika bali hapa ni wapi siyo kama ule unasikia hiyo mwalimu wa hesabu alisema sitafika mbali hapa Those are the words that put yokes to people. Hao ni maneno ambayo yanaweka nira kwa watu. That somebody says you will never succeed. Kwamba mtu anasema hautawei na wewe. Na inaandikwa kwa anga yako. Wakati wa kufanikiwa ukifika, it is over time to us. But when we pray and fast, lakini ukifunga na kuomba, you break those yokes. Unakuja hizo nira. You destroy those yokes. Unaharibu hizo nira. Ilua mkono wako katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Kila mtu Sema kuanzia leo. Kuanzia leo. I cannot hear you. Sema kuanzia leo. Kuanzia leo. Nimevunja kila nira. Nimevunja kila nira. Kwa kufunga na kuomba. Kwa kufunga na kuomba. Na kwa mafuta. Na kwa mafuta. Nimevunja kila laana. Ninavunja kila laana. Nimevunja kila nira. Ninavunja kila nira. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Kutoka leo. Kutoka leo. Mimi na watoto wangu. Mimi na watoto wangu. Niko huru. Niko huru. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu destruction of demonic yokes kuharibu nira zote za kiovu number 3 jambo la tatu power to overcome in difficult situations nguvu za kushinda wakati mgumu hali ama hali ngumu listen to me unasikia times and the season changes nyakati na majira ubadilika kama unajua time na ma, ma, wakati na majira ubandilika nipungie mkono wa As long as you are on this earth mradi uko huko dunia times and the seasons will change majira na nyakati zabadilika In the seasons of hard time wakati wa magumu God created a means to escape Bwana akatengeneza njia tuweze kuepuka and that is prayer and fasting Na hiyo ni kwa kufunga na kuomba An example is in the book of Esther. Mfano katika kitabu cha Esther, chapter 4 verse 1. Mstari wa kwanza. The Jews were to be killed and destroyed. Wayahudi walikuwa waharibiwa na wauliwe. The fact had already been meant. Toleo lilikuwa limeshapeanwa. There was a decree. Kulikuwa na tangazo that they should be destroyed. Kwamba wataharibiwa. And the plans meant na mipango ikaandaliwa. Mondekai declared a fast. Mondekai akatangaza kufunga na kuomba. 
they went to Esther again. Mke wa mfalme. And they declared another fast. And the Bible says that another letter was written to destroy the enemies of the Jews. Why? They prayed and they fasted. Children of God, when you are faced by a difficult situation, declare prayer and fast. Make it an habit. When you are challenged and you want God to help you, declare prayer and fast. Guza Manzako Mwambia, declare prayer and fast. When you are faced by difficult situations. The same is in 2 Chronicles. Chapter 20 verses 1 downwards. Moab, Ammon and Mount Seir. They came against Judah. At the time of leadership of Jehoshaphat. And it was a difficult situation for Judah. But Jehoshaphat understood. He said, Let us pray and fast. Everybody was fasting. Women, men, and the children. And God spoke to the prophet. And he told them. Let us read verse 14 and 15. Give us 2 Chronicles 20, 14 and 15. Aha. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jaziel, the son of Zachariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Matania. A Levite of the sons of Asaph in the midst of the assembly. Verse 15. He said, and he said, Listen, all you of Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you king Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, nor dismayed, because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. <laughs> Mwana wa Zekaria, mwana wa Benaya, mwana wa Yeyeli, mwana wa Matania, Mlawi, wawana wa Asafu, akajiliwa na roho ya Bwana katika katikati ya kusanyiko. Aha, verse 15, everybody listen. Kumbi na tano kasema, hakasema sikieni, yuda wote, nanyi mkaa Yerusalemu, na wewe mfalme Yoshafati. Bwana waambia hivi msiogope wala msifadhaike kwa ajili ya jeshi kubwa hili kwani vita si yenu bali ni ya Mungu overcoming difficult situations kushinda hali ngumu they fasted wakafunga and the god spoke to them na bwana kanena na and he told them now nakamwambia sasa because of your prayer and the fasting kwa sababu ya kufunga na kuomba the battle Vita has shifted. It is no longer in your hands. It belongs to God. Fasting shifts the battle from you. And it takes it to God. So God takes over the battle for you. So as you pray and fast, we are shifting your burdens. We are shifting your battles to the hands of God. And I pray for you today. May the Lord fight your battles. Ninasema, may the Lord fight your battles by the virtue of this prayer and fasting. May the Lord fight the battle of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. God does not only fight the battle. He gives the strategy to fight. Guza manzako muoleza kuna strategy unataka. Geukia uyo mungine. Muoleza kuna strategy unataka. How? How to do it? Vile ya kufanyi. Strategy. When you pray and fast, Mungu anakupatia njia. So that is number three. 
We are in number three or we are number four? Number four. Divine direction. Ezra chapter 8 verse 21. Ezra nane. Where we read in the morning. Ezra 8 21. You can, also, you can also write Isaiah 58, 11. And you can also read Isaiah 30, 21. But let us read uh, Ezra 8, 21. Ezra. I want us to read all of us this scripture. I want to hear the voice of everybody. One, two, three. Can we read together? Amen. So God gives divine direction you remember Mungu anapeana mwelekeo wa kiungu acha tusome Ezra 8:21 Ndipo nikaamuru kufunga hapo penye mtu ahaba ili tupate kujinyenyekeza mbele za Mungu na kuta kwake njia iliyo nyoka kwa ajili yetu sisi wenyewe na kwa ajili ya watoto wetu na kwa mali yetu yote if you want the direction of God, there are many directions. Goza Mazako Mwambia, there are many directions. Mwambia kuna jia nyingi. Lakini kuna njia ilio bora. Mwambia kidoko, Mwambia kuna njia ilio bora. Kama umeka na enemy ama. Uwezi Mwambia kitu? Uyo ama. Nataka Mwambia Mwenzako Mpaka Nihone. Mwambie kuna njia iliyo mbora. Watu wengine hata hawawezi angaliana macho. Nataka umwambie geukia huyo mwingine unaweza angalia macho. Mwambie kuna njia iliyo bora. Not every way is a, a successful way. Si kila njia ambayo ni njia ya kustawi. They prayed and fasted. Wakafunga na kuomba. So that they may get a direction from the law. Ili wapate mwelekeo kutoa wa Mungu. Which way is safe? Basi ni njia ipi iliyo bora? For them. Kwa their children. Kwa watoto wao. And their wealth. Na mali yao. Those are the most important thing in the life of a person. Hizo ndizo vitu muhimu katika maisha ya mwanadamu. How men here? I want to ask na usinuo mkono. Nataka nionee na usinuo mkono. Wangalia mwanzako kama ata, uso itabandilika because tunaweza pata jibu kwa uso. So hiyo ndiyo ninapatanga nikiwa hapa mbele si lazima uinua mkono. Kwa uso tu. Ni wangapi hao ambao wao fast waombe watoto wao. Fast ya watoto. Sasa mnaona vile watoto wetu wako kwa hatari. Kwa sababu uwezi fast. Unachagulia mtoto course and you cannot pray for for, for that child. Una mpeleka na fanya fisheries. Fisheries. Uvuvi. Na kwa mtu ni mtu ambao nakauka after one man. Uvuvi. Ataenda kushika samaki wapi? Na una unaringa. Mtoto wangu anafanya degree. Na amefanya fisheries George. Akitoka my friend anaingia kwa hii mtu anapata hakuna samaki. It is things are very important. I have a friend alikuwa na A alipata A na unajua alienda kufanya nini a course ambayo saa hii tunataabika kabisa kutafutia kazi sitaki kusema hiyo course maana kunaweza kuwa na mmoja anafanya hapo kama unafanya Mungu atakusaidia my friend courses you have to pray for your children lazima uombe watoto wako declare fast and at this time we are praying and fasting. Remember your child. Do you hear me? Ipungia bukono. Wangapi wamefunga na kuombea biashara zao? Unasema hii mwaka I'm not go. Yaani si gongi kando. Hii mwaka client wale wanakuja si con men. Si con men wanakuja. Mama mwingine jana alinipigia. Alinipigia. Akaniuliza wewe ninasikia kama ni mtu wa Mungu. Nataka uniambie 
Uko, wewe unaishi wapi? Nikamwambia utawala. Lazima ujui. Kamuliza unaitwa nani? Akanema naitwa Njeri. Unaishi wapi? Kidhurai. Nikamwambia, kamuliza na wewe? Namba yangu mmepata wapi? Akaniambia wewe nimepata huku huku kwa mtandao. Nikajua hapa ni hatari nikawa kwa kile. Akaniambia ninatafuta shamba kinga na nimeambiwa moja. Nataka kujua huko kuna maji. Ama huko kuna ni kuzuri. Nikamwambia ni kuzuri nini nini? Akaniambia na ninafurahia nimeongea na mtumishi wa Mungu. Ukipiga simu usipigie con man. Kuna wengine ukipiga hivyo anaanza kukutapeli za hiyo za hiyo. Ukiamua kutafuta msaada. Pray and fast. That you will not engage with the people who will take advantage of you. Kwamba utapata na watu ambao watakutumia vibaya. Nipongee mkono wewe. Pray for your business. Ombea biashara yako. So that God will give you the divine direction. Ili Bwana kuelekee akupatie mwelekeo wa kiu. If you are looking for a job. Kama unatafuta kazi. Pray for direction. Omba mwelekeo. Si kila ofisi unaweza fanya kazi. Divine direction. Mwelekeo wa kiu. If you are looking for a wife, 